As I say, I'm fifth generation, so there are 300 family shareholders and only a very small number work for the family business. The majority, also my brothers and my sister, um, have careers outside the family business. Um, I actually wanted, first of all, to become a university professor and then um, didn't get a sponsorship for my PhD, which made me join Procter & Gamble. And from there, my own family approached me saying, won't you like to come and work for the family? Well, the, the biggest difference is that when you manage your own business, um, you are carrying your own skin to the market, um, which means um, that today, if, if a client um, does not want to work with me, it's very personal. And if a client wants to work with me, it's also very personal. Um, obviously, given the size of the Freudenberg Group, um, there was a lot of Freudenberg and only very small Lorenz, and now it's a lot of Lorenz and only a bit of Freudenberg. The biggest threat of, um, in the hand of our family businesses is actually that the, the entrepreneur who has to give the business away is not thinking enough on the question, what am I doing next after the business belongs to somebody else or the management responsibility is to be carried out by somebody else. And then you get managers who don't, or you have owners who don't have a place for themselves. And then, because they don't have a place, they intervene again with the business they have actually handed over. I believe it's fundamentally important that family businesses connect and learn from each other. It's the best thing you can do.